so here I want to go through Fortran because uh, all of the subroutines in uh, in Abac is they are written in Fortran uh, so subroutine itself in Fortran uh, is, is is like a function in MATLAB although uh, Fortran itself has a function but subroutine is something a little bit different um, but it's like a function so here we want to write um, uh, a code to calculate the determinants of a ma a three by three matrix. So what you you should do is when you want to define a subroutine, you should start with subroutine, the name of the subroutine, which is calDet, which is calculation of determinants, the inputs input or inputs. For example, if you have other inputs, uh, you just write it down. Um, and uh, the output or outputs whatever you, you so you you put here in this argument uh, you put all the inputs as well as the outputs well both of them at the same time and then when you want to finish your subroutine you should put return and end commands as well the, the rest is the body of the subroutine from from here to here from here to here, it's the body of the subroutine. Okay, um, there are some points about Fortran. The one point is that you should, the first point is that you should start a line um, with six spaces one, two, three, four, five, six. You cannot go less than six, it's impossible. You can put seven, but if you go, you, you see, uh, it, it doesn't work. And the next one is that you have from the six character until the end you cannot go for infinity or whatever there is there is a limit I think it is if I check I think it's 60 characters I think so from from here to here Yeah, it's 73 characters. So you cannot go more than 73 characters. And if you want to, so this formula, if you want to, any formula, if you want to, um, if you want to continue it, you co go to the next line, you put a number, and you, uh, you, you continue that. Then you can go to the next line and continue that. Whatever. And, and these numbers, uh, these can be numbers th these can be numbers these green ones one or two in the next one can be number or they can be letters or ex special letters I mean uh, or they can be like something else like dollar sign and they sh uh, yeah. Uh, and they shouldn't be consecutively like um, there is no need for them to be consecutive numbers for example you you use one here you can use three here then you can use one here so there is no rule on that as well as you're using a character over there I know that what what I usually use one two three I named them consecutively some people use a star I think the the version the the original version of the Fortran 77 they use a star, but uh, I, th I I hope you get the idea. The next uh, the next thing which is important apart from starting with so you should sort always with six spaces usually it does that. Um, so when you go to the next line you don't have to put it I'm using Fortran um, in Microsoft Visual Studio so it, it takes account of it, it take it into account automatically I don't know about if you're you, you writing it in, in, a, in a text editor you should be careful about it the next thing is that you should declare your variables so how you can declare a variable here you should say implicit none Implicit none means that um, I'll get to it later, but you should put it. Um, 
then you should define all your variables uh, for example real real means that the um, it is um, it is a single point precision so it's a float uh, so um, but when you put real star 8 it's double it's uh, I think 14 digits um, it's double digit so it's 14 digit accuracy accuracy um, so the A is a matrix 3 by 3 matrix and AJ is the determinant and it is defined as uh, um, it is a, it is again a real uh, and there is another way to do it too so you put you define it as a uh, real real or real star 8 a and j but when you want to define an array you you put another command which is dimension dimen, dimension 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 oh, yeah dimension a 3 3 and 3 so this is another way to do that oh, but these are um, really close to very pretty much the same things so the next one is you want to define your formula so AJ which is the output and it is the determinant it's equal to this formula but the, I couldn't continue this formula this is a 3 by 3 matrix and I put some numbers in it um, so this is not um, but um, there's I, I didn't write the general formula for determinants because I knew all of the matrices that I'm using are, are 3 by 3 and this is the fastest one because I could write down the general form this is not a code for generalization this is a code for a computation uh, m computational mechanics so you should always think about ways to reduce the number of operations so this is why I only used um, this is not general form this is for only for three by three matrix um, so it's done almost but there is one catch so there is a way in um, abacus not to use implicit none and instead you use wh what does it mean implicit none with me it means that you're making no assumptions on the um, on the variable forms instead of that you, sh you can put oh, if I correct it so this is the correct um, so the thing that it says here you should uh, you say implicit you're implying an assumption you say e all the variables which start starts with a b c d to h and then this is alphabetic order a b c d to h and then uh, starting from o p q until x y z all of these variables are you're implying that they are real so you don't have to define for example you don't have to define them real again so it is done unless they are an array if they are an array you should um, you should you should uh, you should um, you, you you must define uh, the size of the array this is a must so instead of for example we don't all the variables which is starts with a b c d e f g h uh, if they start with H, they are scalar and they are they are double. So for example, you want to define another variable which is for example B uh, which equals to a, AJ uh, uh, divided by 2. Um, so you don't have to def declare B once again because um, it is implied here is implied here what this means is that but what happens to other variables which start for example with I uh, I J K L M N so these are not there is no assumption on them well there is an assumption again on them they are considered to be um, integer so I is 2 or M is 3 or oh, excuse me 4 so uh, these are integers in, uh, and you, you are making an assumption on it so abacus instead of using this it has its own way so it uses this command these two are equivalent 
but um, Abacus uses this one so I suggest using this one but be very careful of, of using these commands and because for example here I wanted to name my variable J but I couldn't because um, if I put it J J is because of this command it is it is an integer uh, so I put an A uh, at the beginning to make it <coughs> to make it um, to, to make it real uh, and double the, the other point is that it's like C so 2 is an integer excuse me um, oh. 3 is an integer okay but 3 point is a float so when you want to do I think you, you know this but just, this is just a review so if you want to divide for example determinant by 3 aj you want to divide it by 3 you shouldn't do this this is an integer this causes a problem you should put always is a, a, a pointer and if you're going to do um, if you are going to use double precision which you you should do in most cases uh, you should always put d0 so if you're using any any number unless it is uh, integer if you're using any number so you for example 10 you should use this you should put uh, the point and the zero so these are equivalent so this is not important but the zero which means which, which means it is double precision so you always use this one don't forget if you use um, Fortran is pretty messed up so if you use this one um, if you go to the if you print this um, if you print B you will see this zero zero so until six points it is zero but after that you will see for example these numbers so it's pretty messed up if you don't put that because sometimes these uh, these matters in computational mechanics I'm not going through this but always put the zero um, it's very important um, the next example for instance is calculating matrix okay, calculating matrix inversion um, the matrix inversion again I, uh, uh, sorry my my friend is texting me but matrix inversion is quite simple so calculating uh, invert inverted matrix the inputs uh, are, are, are um, a uh, and aj which is determinant a is your matrix 3 by 3 and b is the inverted matrix um, so again you include that declare that the dimensions you have only two variables which are an array which are arrays a and b you define that and then you define each variable and at the end you divide it by the determinant so that's another example the next thing which you may use it is loop um, loop is quite simple again um, do uh, I equals to this this goes to one two three so I equals to one two three or one comma three and this um, for example this uh, it goes to the ma to a matrix uh, to the main dia diagonal um, elements and uh, it puts one in it I mean one in it it's not correct um, and you notice that I put D0 because I wanted to make them double and at the end you should put and do um, so and, and also this is not important I mean you could put it here you can start it here and you, or you can start it here but you shouldn't go you see it's messed up you should go at least six characters six spaces but I for it for for reading it's better to put an extra uh, <coughs> next row space